My name is Cindy. I would like to present some basic information for a person who would like to either buy a gift or start attracting birds to your area. But you know virtually nothing about bird feeders and bird houses. It can be a little overwhelming if you do not have any experience with birds. First you might notice that bird houses come in many different sizes and are named for specific birds like wren houses, bluebird houses, and owl houses. Besides the houses being different sizes, the entrance holes will also come in different sizes to accommodate different birds. Since the wren is one of the smallest birds that nest in houses, this house will almost exclusively be used for wrens because the hole is only about one or an eighth inch in diameter. The bluebird requires a larger entrance hole that will also allow wrens and sparrows to enter. Therefore, you will need to monitor the house until the bluebirds nest in it. If a sparrow or a wren nests in your house, you will need to remove the nest if you only want bluebirds nesting there. Many birds do not nest in houses as they do eat from bird feeders. Bird feeders also come in many different sizes and are designed to attract different birds. A basic hanging bird feeder with a perch can be filled with sunflower, safflower, or mixed bird seed. This will attract a variety of birds like cardinals, bluebirds, junkers, and finches. An orange feeder is designed to be filled with grape jelly and an orange house, which are both favorites with orioles. A peanut feeder is designed to be filled with whole peanuts and will attract two fish. Tulip feeder is designed to hold preformed tulip cakes, which will attract woodpeckers and nuthatches. All these wooden bird feeders and houses that I've shown you today, and many others, are manufactured and designed in Western Illinois by Luther Potts. They are sold throughout the USA at many wild bird stores and are also available at several online stores.